Hello and welcome to another video for Midas Touch Toys Games Collectibles and today we are looking at the uh, 1979 Whoopi Annual um, which was released by IPC Magazines in late 1978 for the upcoming 1979 year and it was uh, annual based on the comic weekly comic, the highly popular weekly comic called Whoopi which ran for many years um, and all the characters that appeared in the um, weekly comic were amalgamated into one annual um, with uh, several full stories um, mainly based on each character or each set of characters. Okay, so this is the front cover of the said annual. It says Whoopi Annual 1979, a Fleetway Annual. And then you, the image, you've got the Bumpkin Manor and it says collect your Christmas box here. And there he's got filling up the sack with all the wads. Um, this is the spline, which you can see is in immaculate condition. Um, practically nowhere, just a little bit of um, a corner um, crushing on the edge of the spline there. Just very, very minute, which you get when you uh, have books on the shelf for a while and the back cover which is identical to the front so we won't waste much time on that so let's open the annual and have a look at what's inside okay so here we are the first few pages now sadly this annual has been um price clipped as you can see on the bottom uh right hand corner there that it's been cut off there um now i believe this was that, that that was cut off and there was a um price tag um stuck above it which has been removed um so as this is a, a a former shop stock from a comic book shop that was closed down okay so the very first story toy boy which is in full color um and then we've got fun fear which is also in full color uh, Super Mum, again in full colour, and Daisy Jones uh, Locket, which is in full, full colour. But then we get on to the book, which has now moved into the black and white. Uh, you notice some slight edge browning, which is due to the the age of the annual and the type of paper that was used back in the day. That wasn't the greatest of paper. Um, and of course, because it was cheaper to run the prints, run the stories in black and white, that's what they did. They run most of the annual in black and white. So we've got Bored Eddie, Claws, Sweeney Toddler, the Spook Tectacular 7, uh, Toy Boy again, this time in black and white, Fun Fear, uh, Whoopi Wise Crackers, uh, Barney's Brain Box, again, all of these in uh, just black and white, Lollipop, Board Eddie again, uh, Daisy Jones Lockett again, uh, The Mountain Menace. Now there's quite a few um, dot to dots here, uh, which can be completed. They haven't been done obviously because it's not been sold before this annual. So uh, they're all there for you to complete. I think this is a whole story with dot to dots in it for you to complete. Yeah, look, there's loads of them. Um, and then we get on to Lollipop again. Uh, Fun Fear, another Toy Boy, Claws, so all these were characters, Sweeney Toddler, from the actual uh, popular, highly popular uh, comic, Board Ellie, which was a weekly comic. Barney's Brain Box, and now we move on to the um, mono-coloured stories. So we've got Frankenstein. So again, it was cheaper to do them in mono than again in colour. Super, Super Mum again in mono. Smiler in mono. Uh, Thrumpty Dumpty again in mono. Goop TV Spook. Bumpkin Billionaires. All these in mono until we get back to uh, Kids Court, which is now back to black and white. Um, obviously, Horrible Hole because it's obviously far cheaper. So the whole point back in the day was to do them as cheap as possible and make as much money as possible. Daisy Jones Locket again, Creepy Car, Thrumpty Dumpty, 
board, Eddie. Um, but it was industry standard to do them this way back in the day. Frankenstein, Scared Stiff Sam, Lollipop again, uh, Space War, on his brain box and so on so the whole annual goes up to quite a few pages actually before we come to the end i will just jump ahead alfie in africa um and then from alfie in africa we got hot the hot dogs again which just come with these then you've got some the answer to your quizzes and then we're back into color for the last few pages which is smiler Professor Cube Inventor, and that brings the annual to a close. Um, yeah, pretty good annual. Again, as I say, it's a former shop stop, this one, um, which are now incredibly hard to find, especially in this condition. But as usual, we at Midas Touch have managed to find a few. They're currently available for you to purchase on the Midas Touch website, which you can get to very simply by clicking the link below it will take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage annuals and many other vintage toys games collectors come to that there's over 10,000 products currently available for you to view and purchase on the website and don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website there will be something for everybody and i'm absolutely sure you won't want to miss that so i hope you've enjoyed this very short video thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon